than I ever wanted, oh yeah Now I walk right up in Gucci store, then I buy all of the shit with the snake on it Ooh, now everybody got their turban, they rockin' this shit like they think that they eat Ooh, I throw this steady stage, stakin' money, then all of these bitches ain't think that they know me Too many people, they say that they know me just cause all these drugs, they don't take it a lot You try to get on my level, you take it Alright, what's going on YouTube? We are back again with another video. Finally, your boy has been gone for a little bit, but I've been up to a lot of things, not really pertaining to YouTuber producing, but uh, I've been snowboarding a lot just because that shit's hella fun. But besides that, I'm back. I'm going to be uploading three times a week for now on, so you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of me. But anyways, in today's video, you guys already know what's up. And if you're new here and you don't know what's up, I'm basically the yeet guy. I make a yeet beat. I put some vocals on it. I sound like yeet and we make the preset. And if you don't believe me, you can be the judge of that at the end of the video once you see the finished song or just base it off the preview. But I'm telling you, I kind of got the yeet secret sauce. But anyways, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made a song in the style of yeet. We're gonna go over a breakdown of how I made the beat, what my main focus was on how I was trying to achieve the sound. And then we're gonna pull up the part where I actually mix the vocals. So I'm gonna pull up that FL Studio file and I'm gonna break down how I did that and everything. And then I'm gonna show you guys where you can get the preset. But before we do get started, if you guys could do me a few favors, hit that like button for me just because it really helps push this video out to more people. And I know I want more people to see this just because it really helps me out. And I mean, hey, if you're enjoying the video, that'd be a huge play if you guys could just send it to one of your friends, hit that like button, leave a comment for me. And also if you're new here and you're not subscribed, go down, hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be dropping a bunch of more videos just like this. And if you're already a subscriber and you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? You gotta follow me on Instagram. That's just the best spot for you guys to stay up to date with what I'm doing. I'm always posting updates there and I'm trying to get video ideas from you guys. I'll post stories and just random stuff like that. But anyways, let's jump in this video. Oh, and by the way, if you guys don't know who Yeet is, just go over to Spotify, listen to a few of his songs. Some of my favorites are Can't Change, Told Ya, Money So Big, Herbin. I mean, the list goes on and on, honestly, but just go check out some of his music so you can get an idea. But anyways, when I initially sat down and started this song, my goal was to make a song that sounds like Money So Big, which sounds like this. Yeah, my money be body, my money talk good. And the first thing I did was just jump right into Serum. Oh, I guess I set the BPM to 138. I kind of just tapped out a BPM I liked. And I'm pretty sure Money So Big is actually like 137, 138, around 140. But anyways, first thing I did, we hopped up in Serum. And if you guys are new here and you're not familiar, I have a multi-kit out called Cyber, which is basically a drum kit, a MIDI kit, a loop kit, a one-shot kit, and a Serum Bank all-in-one. You could get those separately at my website, quintababa.com, or you could buy the bundle itself. But anyways, we jumped into the Cyber Bank, and I chose this lead called Money Longer. Kind of funny, because we were going for the Money So Big song. But here's the piano roll. I set the scale over here. I went to View, Scale Highlighting, and we actually set it to F Sharp Minor. And I started with something super simple here, as you can tell. I basically just, I started at the root note, went up three keys in the scale, and put this B right here. And all these are just kind of random. I just kept playing it, and... Just whatever sounded good was what I was going for. And as you can see, it's basically a four, it's basically a two bar loop that loops twice. So this is like the first part of the melody and then it kind of repeats itself, but I change one note here at the end. As you can see, this A goes up to a C sharp and then we just duplicate that over for four bars and then also for eight. So I'll just play this initial lead sound for you guys before we head over to the mixer to show you guys how I mixed it. So yeah, I routed that over to mix track number one. And we turned it down a little bit and I added a fruity chorus, left it at the default settings, and then just an EQ to really get that sound how I wanted it. Because initially it sounded like this, which was just like way more aggressive. And I wanted to kind of mellow that sound out. So as you can see, I really brought those high end frequencies down. And then I also kind of mellowed out the low end, but I really liked those like low mids and mid frequencies right here. So I brought those up and that's pretty much it. And then of course the sound just wasn't enough. So I had to stack it. And I went back into my cyber bank and we pulled up the sound called key dash saw. I'll solo that out for you guys so you can hear it. Basically all this is doing just adding a little bit of atmosphere behind that original lead sound. So you put those two together and the sound is just a bit bigger than it was. And then there were some parts of the song where I did want that sound to just get bigger. So I all I did was duplicate that serum over again. I found this pad called Starboy and I literally just copied and pasted the melody right over there. If I solo it out, it sounds like this. And with everything. And at that point I was pretty much done. But I did want to add one more thing because I just I didn't want one consistent sound playing the whole time. So we went for a lead. 
made this pattern right here. Of course, we went back into that cyber bank and I had this lead called Yoshi. I use this all the time. It's like one of my favorite leads. It just sounds like this. It's kind of just like a sine wave with some reverb on it. And I played a super simple melody right here. So I'll just play that with everything so you guys can get an idea for what it does. It adds a lot of bounce to it, in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, then we moved on to the drums, and as you can see, the way this beat is arranged, it's pretty much the drums are always there, nonstop. So I started out with a clap, and I was using the sounds over from my cyber drum kit right here. I used, I actually used a snare, and it's called strength. <coughs> Sounds like that. <laughs> then we went into the hi hat. I used my favorite one. I use this for like all yeet type beats. It's called Twizzy. And we just played that default, you know, one, two, three, yeet, hi-hat pattern, right? Like this. Then I added two extra snares, just add some bounce. And then just some open hats to fill out some of the boring parts of the song. And then we had to go for that default Yeet 808. Uh, a lot of you guys have probably been hearing this a bunch now, but it sounds like this. Uh, let's see where it's at. Uh, it's called Rockstar in my Cyber Drum Kit. Kind of like a, it's a different 808, but it just sounds really good on these style of beats. So I'm going to just play everything together for you guys so you get an idea of what we're doing. And then we're going to go over something super important at right, like, like right after this. Alright, so like right after that 8 bar loop, I have a switch up, and basically what I did here is I went to this 808 pattern. If you right click this little piano icon, you could go to make unique, and it'll just make the second 808 pattern unique. So as you can see, it says 808 Rockstar number 2. So this is basically a new pattern, and I went into it, and I brought in another 808, as you can see, routed it to the same mixer track and everything, and it's called grinning. Sounds like that. And I basically copied these three notes from the original 808 pattern right here. And as you can see, there's two 808s. So this is the second one. This is the first one. And it's just like an 808 switch up that happens. And it just adds so much energy. So I'll, I'll go back a little bit and just play it for you guys so you can see the switch up. So yeah, I mean, that just brings so much energy. It makes it so much more aggressive. And of course, we can't forget that bell. So if you guys do get the Cyber Bundle, the one-shot kit actually comes with this sound called Secret. It's under the Keys tab, and it's just a bell. But uh, I, I just bring it in right when we have that 808 switch up. As you can see, it comes in a few times. But this also helps bring so much more energy to the song. And I mean, after that, that was the whole thing. So I'll just play this for you guys real quick. Then we'll get to the vocals. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for the beat. I rendered it out and we brought in a new FL Studio template. I'll just show you guys what I was using here. If you head over to QuintinBaba.com, you go to Vocal Templates, and if you head over to Default Mixing Template Version 2, this is what I use like every single time I pull up a new mix. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. If you were to open up FL Studio, completely blank right here, and you just go File, New from Template, and I usually use my Vocals Blank one just because you could add presets to this easily. But as you can see, it has these playlist patterns linked over to the mixer track. So as you can see, you have the beat right here. It goes over to mixer track 20. So for example, if you were to add in a beat and put it at this track right here, as you can see, it auto routes it to 20. And then say you're recording vocals, so pretend this beat is a vocal, and you brought it down here. As you can see, it changes it to mixer track number one, which is where you do all your vocals. So it's just, it just makes mixing way more easy, in my opinion. Also, right, so as you can see here, we have everything set up, so I'll just kind of go over what we did. So if you read this from top to bottom, you can just tell exactly what's going on. We have the beat here, and then we have a automation clip for the frequency one cutoff, which is basically just on the beat. I added a Fruity Love filter and automated this cutoff knob right here. 
just at some certain parts. And we have our recording track. This is kind of a little personal taste that I do just because I used to mix in Pro Tools and this remind it, it makes it a lot more easy, in my opinion, to comp your vocals, which is basically just when you record and bring it down to the actual mixer track. Then we have our lead, and as you can see, I only have two tracks here for the lead. It's just this right here. Then we have our doubles, and basically what I was doing here was kind of using my vocal or using my voice as an instrument and just making some weird sounds. So I'll solo that out for you guys. Then we have some doubles, which sound like this. Some ad libs. And if you put everything together without the beat, this is what you get. Better watch everything that I be doing. Yeah, once I got popular, I got everything that I ever wanted. Oh yeah, now I walk right up. And then you add the beat in, and it just brings that energy. Cause you went up, then my money went up, and I gotta watch everything that I be doing. Yeah, once I got popular, I got everything that I ever wanted. Oh yeah, now I walk right up and. If you guys are looking to use this preset, I actually use an old preset of mine from a different video. If you go to the vocal templates, it is the Yeet Up To Me vocal preset. But yeah, here real quick before I actually uh, play the song at the end of the video so you guys can hear the full song, I'm just going to show you guys exactly what this preset sounds like live. So I'm going to turn my mic off and pull it up in FL Studio and we'll do a little freestyle. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, you know what I kind of every time that she set me up, there's 160 leaks. Sound as that, that I made it on Monday's 160 hits. They say you keep on Alright guys, but yeah, that is it for the video. If you enjoyed this one, you already know what to do. Hit the like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Other than that, stay tuned, listen to the end of the song, full song, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Used to eat noodles, I got that shit right out of the fridge. Yeah. Then I went, got my money up, now all of these bitches know that I'm so rich. I'm in the club and I got my little eye on this bitch and I'm thinking about it. Twizzy went up, then my money went up and I gotta watch everything that I be doing. Yeah, once I got popular, I got everything that I ever wanted, oh yeah. Now I walk right up in Gucci store, then I buy all of that shit with the snake on it. Ooh, now everybody got that turban, they rockin' this shit like they think that they eat. Ooh, I saw this steady stay stacking money, then all of these bitches ain't think that they know me. Too many people, they say that they know me just cause all these drugs, they don't take it a lie. You try to get on my level, you taking these perks, you might OD, you might just die. I said I'm done with the drugs, and I realized I'm about a thousand million times. I told you one of them head and you dead in the chamber unloaded, and you gotta die. I gotta repeat myself one more time, and you gonna get one in the eye. They started talking, then I told her, shut up, I gotta go get it, no regular guy. My money moving and twerking and dancing, I might just move out to the hands. Fuck it, bitch, in the back of the bag, so I found me a Tesla, then you know what's happening. I got this shit right out the fridge yeah. Then I went and got my money out Now all of these bitches know that I'm so rich I'm in the club and I got my little eye on this bitch And I'm thinking about it Twizzy went up, then my money went up And I gotta watch everything that I be doing I got the latest and greatest design of fashion Everybody around me know that I push the baggies right over the road And they came back with a I'm on the moon and I'm walking You got the beat and you floating I keep you like 20 right up Just to go drive it and even Buy me a baggie, I really like ooh so sick that they got the flu Demon keep telling me what I should do yeah. Ooh, well, you should just take your low ass up inside of this school yeah. Ooh, none of you know what you're doing, it's not really cool